Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Matt, and uh, my research is geared towards phase one of my research is geared towards the radiation characterization of the UNLV Accelerator Center. Since 9 11, there has been a renewed interest in homeland security for the obvious reasons in the detection of special nuclear material that may be illegally entering our shores for the purposes of building a nuclear weapon, <clears throat> such as uh, a nuclear bomb or also a dirty bomb. Obviously, that's not good. We don't want that to happen. The catastrophic um, consequences to the detonation of just one nuclear weapon include millions of lives lost, uh, environmental damage, infrastructure destruction, as well as high unforeseen damages to the national economy. So we can't let that happen. So how do we detect nuclear material? We can't just go up and look in boxes. We can't look in drums because that would slow down our economy when it's coming in at the Los Angeles port, San Francisco port, wherever else material is coming inside. So what we do is we use a particle accelerator, similar to the one that Timothy was talking about before, to do what is called active interrogation. And that's not torture. That's what is used to, uh, it's what is called when you shoot a radiation beam inside an object that is designed to hold and conceal any special nuclear material, such as uranium-235 or plutonium-239. Um, that gives off passive radiation signals that can be detective can be detected if not for the shielding that bad guys, the smugglers, would put that material in. So because we cannot detect it by itself, we have to figure out a way to do it. The way we do that is we fire a beam of probe radiation inside an object of unknown contents and then detect any radiation coming out if there is any such things. So what we do here at UNLV, here is our particle accelerator right here. The active beam will proceed towards the survey table and then we can detect that which is coming out. I, for the first part of my experiments, my phase one is to characterize the UNLV Accelerator Center. Before we start developing any methods for fast neutron detection, we have to know what's going on within the center itself, what is coming out of the accelerator, and what doses to the human public are being produced. So a mathematical model was developed using MCMP, and on the top left you can see the floor plan of the Accelerator Center and its contents. Preliminary computational results. Uh, figure four over on the left is the photon spectrum coming out of the accelerator. That's to say how much is coming out, how fast it's coming out, what's the energy coming out, and at what angle. And as you can see, as the, most of the energy is coming out at the top with the greatest flux, with the greatest fluence, and it is within 10 degrees. The other two figures, figure five and figure six, so the radiation dose rate within the accelerator facility, um, that which is harmful to humans. Where, where, do we, where would we not be making sure everything's safe? And as you can see in the preliminary results, it is hottest, it is most dangerous, right where the accelerator is and directly in front of it. Thank you.